Buongiorno, this is part two of Nathan's guide to green screening and making your videos pop. Now the tools for the trade on this documentary, documentary, sound very grandiose, but this part of the how-to guide is all about using a Mac and ScreenFlow. The Camtasia one is on a separate video. Let me show you. So I uh, look at the fancy new cans as well. I look a bit of a tool, but the sound is pretty good, right? So what we're now gonna do is take you through it. So first things first, open up ScreenFlow. Second thing I need you to do is click on the file and new empty document. So let's go ahead and do that. Now if you shot on the iPhone, it will most likely be 720. So go ahead and choose the 720 HD. If you shot it at full HD, and usually that's written on the camera or the video camera, it'll actually say 1080 full HD, then obviously select 1080. Now in this case, I actually shot it on 1080, so I'm gonna go ahead and select that one. And then click on create. And what happens is you end up with a blank document. Yay. So here's the thing. You go, oh, it looks a bit scary. It's not. Let me take you through it. So on the right hand side here, you can see the actual graphics assets. Now, this is where you put all the logos, uh, you put your video, um, you sort of do the chroma key, you do all that sort of like weird and wonderful stuff. It's on the right hand side, okay? On the bottom, you can actually see the timeline. So the timeline is where you put all of the, the different assets. So you put your video on there, the logo on there. This is where you start making things appear and disappear, etc. So that's where you're going to be working is here on the timeline. And in the middle, you can see live what you're doing at any stage with the actual canvas. All right. So as you edit, you can actually see live what you're editing. How awesome is that? So let's go ahead and do it. So what we're going to do is let's bring in our, our video file. So on my desktop, okay, I know that I'm going to work with this file just here. So I shot this with a standard Samsung Galaxy Note phone. Eh? Well, nothing special. Let's open that one. So as you can see, there we are. Now, this step you can ignore if you didn't use the wireless microphones. If you did, do this step. So let's go ahead and add the media. So in this case, I have audio recording 14. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, there's kids playing outside. Oh, bless it. Um, <laughs> not mine. I, I can't even look after a cactus or a cat. But anyway, so what we're going to do is put your logo on there. So go ahead and add your logo. Now, I have in Nathan's shit folder, I have um, a PNG file of my logo. Now, this is important. Get your graphic designer to give you a transparent background PNG of your logo. You might have a JPEG, that's great, but you need it as a transparent background PNG, right? Important, and I'll show you for why. So let's just take that and put that into the right-hand side. Yay, okay. So now what we're gonna do is, first things first, we're gonna take, click and hold our video, move it onto the timeline, and move it all the way to the left-hand side, butt it up to like zero seconds, right? Now I'm going to introduce you to the Timeline Scrubber. So this little weird and wonderful tool just here, click and hold, listen what happens. It's called the Timeline Scrubber. So as I scrub left and right, okay, I can instantly see any part of the video live there and then. Okay, So, top ninja tip. All right, now this video, when you fuck up, and it will happen when you do your video, you very rarely get things done in the first take. So if you do fuck up, that's cool. Don't press stop and then get on and start again because you end up with two, three, four, eight files. Don't want to do that. Instead, then better to just do it in one take like this. You go, oh no, I fucked up. All right, stay there for two or three seconds, compose yourself, be quiet, and then carry on right from scratch. So the reason you do that is because, ninja tip, when you look at this track, you'll see that all the little wave files there, all right, but you've got some definite pauses. Now those pauses will be where you fucked up, right? So let's take the scrubber and show you what I'm talking about. So click in about here, let go, press play. Next thing I need you to do, no, uh, go. You can see I fucked up, right? Secondly, move it to the next blank spot here. I was doing so well on that take. Okay, but let me just move it along. So I paused, I shut up. Let me move it to about here, press play. Bonjour now everyone. Ah, there's the money shot. So what I'm now gonna do is, I'm gonna scrub everything to, the, to edit out all that guff stuff, right? So we've got the timeline where we want it to kind of start. Let's just move it to the left a little bit. Okay, okay, and now come back to the left-hand side, click and hold the left-hand side most of the video file, 
move it, click and hold, 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 move, 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 and it automatically snaps to the red timeline scrubber. So now if I click and hold and move it to the left hand side, butt it up, move my scrubber to the extreme left, click on play. Bonjour now everyone. Hey, 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 there we go, right? We've got a little pause at the beginning. So now what I need you to do is I need you, this is optional, okay? If you use the wireless microphones, do this. If you didn't, ignore this little bit just here. Okay, so right hand click, detach the audio. Okay, and now you can see the audio has been detached. So you've now got a separate video and audio file. So we wanna get rid of the shitty audio from the camera phone. So click on the audio file press the delete key it's now gone so if i press play now i'm completely silent i'm like charlie chaplin or something all right but with more facial hair so we've got rid of the video uh, the audio track again just for the wireless microphone users so click and hold your audio track move it onto the timeline okay all the way to the left and if i click on play me, 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 me. You can see that I've now got the audio track on there, but it's completely out of sync with the video file, and that's what we're gonna do now, okay? So let's just introduce you to the zoom in, zoom out tool. So if I wanna see like the entire video all at once on my timeline, I'll zoom out. You can see this went on for about 24 minutes. If I wanna go in frame by frame, right, I can zoom all the way in and see, you know, frame by frame, point one of a second or point not one of a second, I think it is. Okay, in this case it's Goldilocks. So what I'm gonna do is, you can see my audio, uh, my video file only went on for about almost three minutes, but my audio file went on and on and on and on and on, right? So again, just like the video file, you'll see some definite pauses. Let's just zoom in. You'll see some definite pauses in the audio. So let me go to about here. This is trial and error, all right? You'll, you'll get used to it. Okay, okay press play. It is a plain water every single day. That's it for the mission for today. We're just getting you set up. I will see you. Okay, let's go to the left hand side here. Bonjour now everyone. That was the money shot, right? So what I'm now gonna do, just like the video file, is get rid of all of the, the duff earlier stuff, all right? So click and hold, move, 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 and then snap it to the, the line, okay? So now when I move it to the left hand side, Okay, let me go to the extreme left, press on play. Right. It's Nathan, now I'm working. Almost there, now I'm still out of sync and that's okay. Let's go to the rest of my audio file. Okay, press play. Do that again so it's like fucking God. Brilliant, okay, that was professional. But you can see that I've finished by that stage. So guess what, I take everything to here on the right hand side, scrub, 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 to around about there as well. Okay, so now I should have got this roughly in sync. So let's zoom in now, okay, and go to the left hand side, okay, so at zero seconds. And so now take my timeline scrubber and let's get into it, right? So let's synchronize the two files. Let's click right. on play. It's Nathan. Now I'm working. You can see I'm saying bonjour now. So a bit of lip sync in here. So let's zoom in a little bit more, okay, and let's just move me to where I actually start talking. So I don't know, something about here. Everyone, it's Nathan. Oh, no, let me move the video there. Let me move the audio a little bit further as well. Everyone, it's Nathan. Almost. So let me just zoom in a little bit more. You can see that it's a bit of like, a bit of an arse ache to do, okay, but it's so much more professional. So get it right the first time, you'll, you'll be all right. Subsequent ones, you'll, you'll get better at doing Everyone, this. it's Nathan. Okay, so when I start talking, so I start to say bonjourno about here. So I'll move this to about here. Everyone, it's Nathan. Almost there. Let's just reveal a bit more, because I think, let's just reveal a little bit more. Everyone. Okay, let me just show a little bit more. Bonjourno everyone. Okay, so let me just uh, get this now organized. So again, I talk, talked about here. So I'll move roughly to about here. Bonjour now everyone. Almost. So now move it to the left hand side. Bonjour now everyone. Almost. Move it to the left a little bit more. We're getting there. 
Bonjour now, everyone. Okay, let's just zoom in a bit more. Go to my timeline scrubber. Right, so I start talking about Bonjourno just there, as you can see on the video. So let me move this over to about there. Click on play. Bonjourno, everyone. We're almost there, right? See? So let's just move it a little bit earlier. Let's press play. Bonjourno, everyone. A little bit earlier again. Bonjourno, everyone. A little bit more. You can see it's just, it's really trial and error. Go. Bonjour now, everyone. Oh, a little bit too much. Bonjour now, everyone. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Let's move it to about there. Bonjour now, everyone. Little bit more. <laughs> Bonjour now, everyone. It's Nathan. Little bit more. God, this is Bonjour boring. now, everyone. It's Nathan. Now. A little bit more. God. Goldilocks. Bonjour now, everyone. It's. And probably to about there, I reckon. Bonjour now, everyone. It's Nathan. Yay. There we go. So it's a bit of like zooming in. It's a little bit about like lining up. Watch the video and then you move the audio track using the timeline, as you saw. Okay. Go slow motion till you see you're talking. And then line up your audio with where you start talking. Is it trial and error? Yes, it is. Will it take you like five, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, maybe? Of course it will. But as you do your videos, right, it will get better and faster and faster. I promise, right? So let's zoom out, okay, and let's get rid of everything on the left-hand side. So let's just move it. Leave some in because you want to do a bit of a fade-in effect, right? So. Let's now press the shift key. This is important, right? Hold the shift key, click. So they're both highlighted. Now, when you move them to the left-hand side, they're both still in sync, right? So now, press play. Bonjour now, everyone. It's Nathan. Now I'm working. You got it, right? So that's cool. So now you've lined up the video and the audio, right? So now we're going to do the chroma key. So now what we need to do is, let's just click anywhere, get rid of the highlights, and let's click back on the video. And so now what we're going to do is go up here on the video properties. So now what we're going to do is scroll down, okay, and click on the video filters, go ahead. And select the chroma key and click on add. Boom, instant gone, right? So now what you want to do is you want to put it on a white background. So here's the thing. What I'm going to get you to do is uh, come back down, select both the movie file and the audio file, okay? And then just move them down, okay? Now what I want you to do is go up the top and click on the annotations. Okay, you're going to add an annotations clip. So go ahead, click it, add an annotation clip. So now what I want you to do is select the square tool come to the canvas, close to the top left, click, hold, draw a great big rectangle. Now select the color. Now in this case, I suggest you make all your videos like Apple and make them nice and white. So let's go ahead and select white. Close the colors. So now what we need to do is press the escape key. Now click on the annotations clip, move it to the left hand side again, zoom out so you can see the whole entire movie file on the annotations, clip on the right hand side of it, click, hold, 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 move, 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 until it snaps in line with the end of the video file. So that basically means you have a nice white background, the background of your video throughout the whole thing, right? Now you can see also that it's not actually lined up, so let me just do that, cover the whole screen basically with the white, very important. Okay, so now what you need to do is, I need you to left click on the movie file, and select the audio file and move down one, okay? So now what I want you to do is click on the movie file, move it up one, and put the annotations clip underneath the video, okay? Because it's all about layers, as you can see. Now we have it. And so now what I'm going to get you to do is you can see that there's a lot of like shit on the screen, so let's get rid of that. So let's go back onto the video properties. Let's scroll down, and so now on your color controls. Now let's go ahead and do that, okay, and let's go back onto the movie file, I'm sorry. Okay, the color controls. Okay, so now we're going to mess around with this whole entire section just here. So first things first, 
The chroma key color has decided that it's green. It was on a green background. We might mess around with that in a minute, but leave it as the default. The white clip, this is all about Goldilocks stuff. So as you move these left and right, you can see what's happening on the screen. So literally again, trial and error. So let's go on the tolerance. That usually gets rid of most of it. So too much. And you can see I've now got speckles on my t-shirt too little and well there's no point doing it right so it's a nice fine balance so let's just get rid of all of the guff on the screen okay okay leave it to about there I reckon now, I've got some speckles on my t-shirt I'll show you how to get rid of those in a minute right angle we'll come on to that one but just move it left and right again too little too much too much speckle so again it's Goldilocks I'm gonna come down okay so you can actually see um, about there I reckon now, color controls, now I look a bit washed out, I look like some sort of like flu victim, right? So, even though it's 100% color, right, saturation, too much, I look like some sort of tango victim, too little, I go to black and white, if you like that sort of thing, keep it. But in this case, saturation, I'm going to go to anywhere between 150, 160% is my advice. So let's just go to around about there, okay? Let's go to about, uh, about 161 in that case. Brightness, turn the brightness up just a little bit. Okay, and let's get rid of those speckles, all right, the contrast. So let's turn the contrast up a little bit. Now, it does look a bit harsh on the screen. You almost look like a cartoon character almost. That's fine. A bit of a stylized approach to it looks awesome on YouTube. So again, too much, too little. Okay, Goldilocks, all right. Let's get rid of those green speckles on my T-shirt. Now, come down, okay, back to the chroma key. You can see I've got a bit more of a, like an outline, just a small one, and I'm a perfectionist, right? So, but I'm gonna get rid of that if I can. So I'm gonna go ahead on the angle now, and I'm gonna try and get rid of it. Now you can see, again, I can go, and I can get rid of most of it. And if I want to be really picky, okay, I can click on the color, all right? And I can actually maybe get rid of like more of that green line by selecting a different color. All right, you can see that, you know, if I fuck up, all right, keep your hand on it as you're selecting, okay? So let's just go around about, well, too little, too much. You know what? I reckon that's probably about right. So let's let go, okay, and then close that. So now if I click on play, working with your personal trainer over the next seven days to give you the weight loss goal that you're it's looking pretty good, right? So that's how you do that. Now you go, well, Nath, that's awesome, but now I need my logo on there. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go back to your graphics assets over here, all right, your media, and let's put, click and hold your logo, move it onto the timeline, put it to the extreme left, grab the right-hand side of it, and let's move it so it goes all the way to the end of the video as well. You can see it's on the screen. So just click on the logo, move it to the top left, okay? So now I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. So hold down the shift key, make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Okay, and again, just press looking play. Forward. Now I am gonna be keeping you accountable and motivated. It's looking pretty good, right? So that's cool. So now we've got um, the video all lined up with the audio with the video. We've got our logo, we've got a green screen happening. Let's do some cool stuff. Let's go to the very end of the video, all right? Scroll, 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 scroll. Okay, and press play about here. Okay, so that's that's where I finish and now I wanna fade out from there. So I wanna make it look really professional. So let me basically go onto the, onto the movie file, the movie file tracks, so I highlight it. Right click and choose add starting and ending transitions. Okay, now let's just zoom in and see what's happened. So at the end, right, you can see this little, this little like, um, like I don't know what you would call it, a little cap almost, right? That's an ending transition. When you move your mouse over it, you can see a little cog appears. So click it, okay, and choose the cross dissolve. Now I'm gonna show you what happens. So let's press play. You can see I, 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 I kind of disappear, right? Let's get rid of that bit at the end because I wanna edit that bit out. Okay, blah, 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 zoom in. I finish here, okay, now fade out from this point. So go to the end of the video, click and move it in line with about there. So now when I press play, we'll see you again tomorrow on the next email. Boom, that's awesome. Now what I'm gonna do is line up everything with the end of that. So move my scrubber to the end, it snaps to it. 
get rid of the excess logo, get rid of the excess uh, annotations clip, and we don't need any more audio playing after I finished. So everything's now in line, right? So let me just go to here, press play. I will see you again tomorrow on the next email. Boom, all right. Let's go all the way to the left hand side. Move my timeline scrubber. Okay, and see me fading in. Bonjour now. There you see a fade in. And you go, that's awesome. Can I do it with my logo? Pfft, I say, of course you can. So go on your logo. Okay, click on that. Right click, add starting and ending transitions. And again, you get a little cog. Okay, make sure that it's on cross dissolve. Take your timeline scrubber. Watch what happens. Move to the extreme left. Bonjour. Both me and your logo fade in, right? It's looking good. Now that's all you've got to do for this. Now if you've got some before and after shots, okay, of your clients, what you would do is again, you would add the media, bring them in. So let's let's go ahead and do something like that. Let's add my media. Because I'm going to show you how it works. So let's go ahead. I think I've got like um, some some uh, on some downloads. Uh, let me go on to uh, let me have a look. Nate before and after pics, right? Let's use Nate ripped. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to put that on the timeline. So you can see there's a picture of me looking buff and awesome, right? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down here. And what I'm going to do is because I need to put that behind me because it's all about layers. So what I'm going to do is click on the annotations. Okay. Hold the shift key. Click on the audio and then click on it and move it down one okay and now what I can do is I can move my Nath ripped picture and I can put it on the timeline wherever I want okay and as you can see I'm in front of that picture right now if I put it above me it would be in front of me so let me just move this up to the top of the timeline uh, <laughs> Okay, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. To be fair, just understand that you need to like put uh, this underneath whatever graphic you want in the background. Put it underneath directly the video of you, right? So let me just move me over to here. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. All right, now let me put me behind it so you can see that it's behind me. So now, bonjour, now everyone. There you go. So of course you'd line it up if you wanted that to fade in when you're actually talking about something, and we'll do this. <laughs> And on a daily basis, you'll be receiving these emails with. So say I wanted it to be about there. So what I'd do is I'd leave the timeline where it is. I'd move the picture like my before and after shot where I start talking. And again, I'd want it to fade in and fade out. So right click it, choose the ad starting in, in transitions. And again, move your mouse over each cog, cross dissolve. And on the end of it as well, it's on cross dissolve, right? So now watch what happens. When I come over to the left hand side here, let me press on play. These emails with, well, probably just me in them. You can see a lovely fade in and fade out effect, all right? So fade out. Now, before we get. There you go, right? So that is basically how to do your videos. Now, you need screen flow, you need the Mac, you need a decent load of sunlight, you need, hopefully, you've got the wireless microphones. You've put it all together. How do you get it now on YouTube? Well, in ScreenFlow, it's got your back. Let's go ahead and do that. So click on File, click on Publish to YouTube. Let's go ahead and do that. So it's going to come up now. It's going to ask you to log in with your, uh, your uh, YouTube accounts. So in this case, let's go ahead and log in. Australia Well, just for something different. Okay, and go ahead and log in. So sign in. Okay, I've got two accounts. I'm going to go ahead with this. You'll probably have one. But in this case, I'm going to select the Australia Wow account. Let the application do what it needs to do. So click on Accept. You'll need to do that every, each and every time, to be fair, for some bizarre, stupid reason. And up it comes, all right? So now what you want to do is you want to select the category. Not important, but if you want to do that, maybe sports. Okay, what are you going to call the video? So in this case, it's going to be a demo video of Nathan, all right? Call the video something that's like relevant to your SEO, etc. okay? The seven day weight loss challenge, call it what you will. Your description, well, when people are gonna like look at your YouTube video, what are they gonna see as the YouTube description? So put in what you need to, right? Tags, they're always required. So put your company name in. If it's a weight loss challenge, put like a weight loss challenge tag in there. So let's go ahead and do that, weight loss. Click on the, uh, the comma mark. It puts it in there as a tag. Let's use my name to tag it. 
click on the comma it adds it as a tag don't do too many because in in through this actual application through the screen and flow application it will not let you anyway so just put a couple of tags in there once you've uploaded it of course you can go back in the actual YouTube editor itself and you can like tag the shit out of it it's entirely up to you make sure that it's public all right because you want everyone to find it and always publish in the highest quality that you can so if you shot it in 1080 all right then you know select 1080 if it was 720 720 right but definitely make sure that you publish it in high quality that's the whole point letterbox output ignore okay and let's just put a description okay and so now the publish button comes into play all right so now I'm going to go ahead and click on publish all right so now what happens is it now exports it out now one of the things you need to realize is that you will need a fast internet connection to like send this stuff right if you're uploading it to YouTube it sometimes takes for ages right so I'm not going to do this all the way to the bitter end I'm just going to show you what the net result is now it will go through to the very end and at the very very end it will actually give you a video that says you're right right I've finished now and it will even give you the YouTube link at the very very end okay and then of course you close it down and you save it and do whatever you need to do and the video has been uploaded the net result will be that you have a new YouTube video done and dusted that my friends is how you do green screen video I hope you get something out of it and please find me over at nathanhaig.com and you can find me in personal trainers unite in the Facebook group and here I do lots and lots of stuff for you guys in the personal trainers by having guides like this nathanhaig.com or personal trainers unite Facebook group group hope you found this useful and i can't wait to see the efforts that you put out as well hope you like it see ya